I'm about to take a break from these weekly videos because it's summertime. And during the summer, I prepare for the Build Math Minds Virtual Math Summit. I'm Christina Tonneville, the Recovering Traditionalist, and I hope you stick around because today I give you the Build Math Minds Virtual Math Summit 2020 preview in our quest to build our math minds so we can build the math minds of our students. So to be honest, it's not just this summer that we prepare for the Virtual Math Summit. We have actually been working on the Virtual Math Summit since the last one ended last summer. And I'm so excited for you to be able to watch these sessions from the comfort of your home like every year. So I wanna talk a little bit about how the summit works. For those of you who are not familiar with the summit, this year we decided to pare it down a little bit. Last year we had almost 40 presentations and the number one thing that people told us on the survey after the summit was, there's just so much to watch and get through. I couldn't get through it all. So this year we decided we're gonna pare it down and we have just a little bit over 20 presentations for you this summer because we want you to be able to get through them all. You only have three days where these go live, but you have an entire week to be able to watch it. So the summit will go live August 3rd, 4th, and 5th, but you have until August 10th to re-watch the videos or watch the videos if you didn't catch it when the videos go live. Now, after... August 10th, they go inside of my Build Math Minds professional development site that people pay to be members of. So our members be able are able to access all the videos for as long as they're a member, but anyone can watch them for free. So underneath this video is a link to get registered. So don't forget to go and get registered for this. Now, a little bit about why I feel like you should attend. I am biased and I feel like this is the best math professional development that's out there for elementary teachers, of course, because I put it on. But I compile all of these amazing experts and educators. It's not just people who are kind of seen as experts. There are people who are in the classroom teaching and sharing their information with us during these sessions. It's all at the comfort of your home and at your fingertips. So anywhere that you are this summer, if you are just laying beside your pool, if you're able to go out to a beach, you can take your uh, phone or even your iPad or any kind of tablet device and be able to watch it anywhere that you have internet access. And you can request certificates of attendance. Every session is right around an hour. So if you watched all of them, you could get over 20 hours of professional development. Now, make sure that you check with your state, your local district to ensure that those certificates will work for professional development. Some districts and some states don't, I know that, but we do offer it for those who can use it. Now a little bit about the actual sessions this year. There are kind of four main themes for the sessions. The first main theme is about building connections and that's connections between the math, like connections between the content that you teach at your grade level, but also connections between what you teach and a grade level up or below you. My dog wants to come visit as usual. Now, this is really important, especially as we start to think about the gaps that kids are going to be coming back this next school year with. It's important to be able to see how all of these math concepts connect so that it doesn't feel like we're teaching all of these math skills in isolation. Another big concern, which we have all been concerned about, and it was really highlighted during this COVID shutdown, was equity and access. And it's not just about the access of technology, but it's also about how we create these math tasks and how some of our kids really don't have access based upon the way that we create the math experience that we are providing in the classroom. Another big theme is about implementing. We don't wanna just give you a bunch of theory, we actually wanna give you ideas of how to implement this stuff in your classroom. And then our last theme is about building our 
math minds. That's a big part of what I believe in is that we need to build our own procedural and conceptual understanding of the mathematics before we are able to do that with our students. So those are our four major themes. And we have some repeat presenters who are doing new sessions for us this year, like Margie Pierce and Brian Bouchard, John San Giovanni, Berkeley Everett, Robert Kaplinski, but I've also brought in some new presenters. Some you may know like Peg Smith, The Five Practices, oh, I can't wait for you guys to watch that one, and George Kuros, The Innovator's Mindset, and there's a ton of presenters that you may not know, but you should. So go check out the full lineup of presenters and get registered over at buildmathminds.com slash virtual dash math dash summit. I know that this has been a crazy end to the school year and you know, we don't know what next school year is going to look like, but if you do want to have control over some part of that and it's about changing our own math understanding so that we can change the math experiences that our students get, whether that is in the classroom or online, then come join us for this virtual math summit this year. The link is below this to get registered and it will get you onto the list to receive the updates and information throughout the summer, not just about the virtual summit, but about some other exciting things that we might be offering up for free to our attendees of the virtual math summit. All right, I hope that this helped you build your math mind or get ready to build your math mind so that you can build the math minds of your students this next school year. Go get registered. I can't wait to see you at the Virtual Math Summit this August. Have a great day.